Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on unstructured mesh generation using Gmesh. In this tutorial, we will learn to create an unstructured mesh in Gmesh, create plane surfaces, basic manipulation using the file with extension .geo. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system 14.04, Gmesh version 2.8.5. Open from version 2.4.0. This tutorial is a continuation of creation of sphere using Gmesh. We have already learned to create a sphere using Gmesh earlier. If you don't know how to do so, refer to the Gmesh spoken tutorials in the open form series on this website. Here is our problem statement. This picture shows the flow direction and boundary faces. We will now learn how to create an unstructured mesh using Gmesh. Note that the size of the domain is 45 into 30 into 30 and the radius of the sphere is 1. However, this dimension can vary from problem to problem. The points for the domain are as shown here. Let us switch to Gmesh now. Here is the sphere we created earlier. I have also created all the points and the lines of the domain. To create the points of the domain, kindly refer to the tutorial mentioned earlier. Now select the option Plane Surface. Then select the respective edges for the surface. The selection will be displayed in red. Press E on the keyboard to execute the selection. On doing so, we can see the dotted lines. Repeat the process until all surfaces are created. Now select the option physical groups, then add, and then surface. Now select these four faces for the wall and press E on the keyboard. Select the front face for the inlet and press E. Select the back face for the outlet and press E. Now close Gmesh. Now open the sphere1.geo file in the gedit text editor. Note that there are additions to this file. Also note that the identification numbers for the entities is in continuation of the earlier series. As done earlier, replace the numerical values. Use the letter D for the domain mesh variable. Then at the beginning of the file type d is equal to 0 0.5. To name the boundaries, change the numerical value with your desired name as demonstrated. The first physical surface we made in the interface was wall. So here we will replace it with wall. The second physical surface we made in the interface was inlet. Hence here, we will replace it with inlet. The third physical surface we made in the interface was outlet. So here, we will replace it with outlet. Now type surface loop id which is the next integer in round brackets equals the ids of all the surfaces of the domain in braces which is 43, 45, 47, 49, 51, and 53. For definition of volume, use volume id, which is the next integer in round brackets, equals the ids of these two surfaces in braces, which is 29 and 57. For physical volume, use physical volume id which is the next integer in round brackets equals the ids of the volume in braces which is 58. Save this file and close it. Now using the terminal reopen gmesh by typing gmesh peer 1geo and press enter. In gmesh a bottom to top approach is followed that is First, 1D mesh is created. Using 1D mesh, 2D mesh is created. 
using 2D mesh, 3D mesh is created. For 1D mesh creation, press F1 key. For 2D mesh creation, press F2 key. For 3D mesh creation, press F3 key. This may take a while. Watch the progress in the status bar. This shows done now. Once the mesh is created, we need to optimize it to remove faulty cells. For optimization, click on modules, then mesh, and then on optimize 3D netgen option. This may also take a while. Once again, watch the progress in the status bar. To save the mesh, go to file, save mesh, and close the terminal. Create open foam case directory without the constant folder. In the case directory, copy the newly created file spear1.msh. Using the terminal window, go to the case directory of this problem. Once you are in the case directory, type gmesh 2 foam spear1.msh to convert the mesh. Ensure that the same boundary names are there in the files of folder 0 before proceeding to the next step. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to create an unstructured mesh in GMesh, create plane surfaces, basic manipulation using the file with extension .geo. As an assignment, make refinement in the mesh by changing the values of S, D and mesh dot characteristic length from curvature. Open form series is created by the FOSSI project IIT Bombay. FOSSI stands for Free and Open Source Software for Education. This project promotes the use of free and open source software tools. For more details, please visit FOSSI.in. The video at this link summarizes this spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Pawan Mehta from Posse Project IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.